Okay, I'm back again. I kind of figured that during that first tutorial, a lot of people won't have recycle, won't be able to afford recycle, they don't want to buy recycle. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get the same uh, chopped files to put into Renoise using Reaper, which is, to be honest, is something I think everyone should have who, who's using Renoise because of the way it works so well, rewiring. For, for doing anything like your side chaining and stuff is really cool with Renoise and Reaper. And it's cheap and it's got a new feature that's just been added called uh, dual trim. I call it dual split, but it's really handy for doing these kinds of uh, recycled chops. So uh, anyway, first thing we're going to do, is we'll go to project settings. And we're going to set up a project folder just for this chopped beat. I got it called Green Noise Chop there, so we'll go for that one. Okay, right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Options, Preferences, Appearance Media, and we're going to make sure that none of the fancy stuff is on for the waveforms. Excuse me, my throat's still really, really bad. Um, we're going to turn and make sure we've got everything off on the fancy waveforms. It does look nice when it's on, don't get me wrong. And I do have it on normally, but for this particular purpose and pure accuracy, I have it turned off. So we've got that turned off. Another thing we want to turn off is snapping so that we can put the splits wherever we want. Now, in Reaper, you have an action system where, where virtually every single thing in the application is an action. These actions can be uh, assigned to buttons. You can create your own macros by combining actions together. Now, I've put one of SWS's actions on a button here for zoom. So I can zoom the waveform in on one click, like so. Uh, a lot of this stuff won't be there when you first install Reaper. But as I say, you can, you can literally, you can search it in the action list. And if, if you're missing actions... When I say an SWS action or a Xenokaios action, just look on the Reaper forum for SWS Reaper actions and you will find a very small download that installs itself and it gives you hundreds and hundreds of new features in Reaper. Like the Zoom that you've just seen and other things that you're going to see later. Right, so first things first, we want to put in splits. I've created my own... Uh, right click menu here you can create all your own menus and so on in Reaper as well so uh, for doing stuff like this I, I I don't use a lot of the tools myself that other people use so I've created all my own menus all the way through Reaper I've created my own toolbar here because you can create your own toolbars as well uh, with some tools that I use regularly and what some people haven't realized yet with Reaper is that with the toolbars you can actually right click and activate a tool so I've got my scissors tool here slice tool if I right click it it's now mouse activated and I can just drop it in wherever I like like so which is a, a really cool feature that Schwa did for us uh, one of the developers of, of uh, Reaper a few months back and it's become a really powerful feature ever since um, Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in so we can we can get an idea of where we want to go on the waveform on the hits. And we have this new thing, if you see the cursor change here, of uh, dual splitting. Uh, previously, when you grabbed the edge of an item like this and moved it, it would just move this item or it would just move that item if you had this item selected. But now with this new system, as you can see, you can just move the split wherever you want. So I'm going to do this pretty quick. Uh, just move it to the hits. Go through the waveform. Move the splits to the hits. I'm going to do it really quick. You can obviously spend more time. You can use this. This is an action by Zenakias that is a place selected item. So if I select this item here, I can play. I can play it, 
Uh, it normally just plays the single item, but it's a little bit buggy at the moment. Um, I would expect SWS to be working on it as soon as he gets a chance. I've informed him of it about 10 minutes ago, so he knows it's broke. <laughs> but anyway, back to the matter in hand. We've got the splits now. As you can see, the splits are all in. I've done it really quick, but they're in anyway. Now, there's a few things you can do here. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is select all the items. Like so. And then search for an action um, called Create... create chromatic MIDI from selected items. Now this will create a chromatic MIDI that you you need to flip into Renoise from the splits you created earlier. So each excuse me, so each hit is now actually a MIDI hit here. So I'm going to right click again I've changed all the menus in my MIDI editor. So yours will be different, but the options will still be there somewhere. So I'm going to export that. I'm just going to call it MIDI for ease of use. And now I'm going to delete this track. I'm going to uh, I'm going to hide the Docker again for now and uh, select all the items. Now this is an action that Zenikaius created for me. A long time ago, Zenikaius was a, a a guy who who created most of the first actions when the SDK for Reaper first came out. He's moved on to other stuff now, making his own software and stuff. But this is quite a good action. Um, it explodes all the items down onto their own track, but keeps them in sync. Again, this wouldn't necessarily be that useful to a Renoise user, except when you actually start to think that you can click on an item, zoom in. You could use, say for instance, uh, you could use the split again on the mouse. Split there using the dual split. Now what you could do, if you really wanted to, is use alt drag. You could time stretch using any time stretch algorithm you wanted to actually lengthen the hit and then use the fade to actually fade the hit out. So you can you can do all kinds of things to these hits that you like to edit any way you wanted to, to be perfectly honest. You can you could do some crazy stuff to the beat before you ever even got it into Renoise. Um But what we're gonna do right now is select all the items if you can get the select to work sometimes a bit finicky in Reaper again I've informed the developers if anything gets done about it we shall see rather annoying and I think I will show them this video after it's done just so they can see how annoying it actually is when it doesn't work and you're doing a video to show other people anyway when you created your project earlier the project folder will literally take anything that is glued or if you render stems of the tracks or whatever so what we can do now is right click and Obviously, your menus will be different, like I already said, but you will have a glue option somewhere. So you just glue. Now, if I bring up the folder, you'll see that we've created the waves and we've got the MIDI file. We're good to go into Renoise. So that is pretty much how you do the recycle thing in Reaper. Hope that helps people who are not interested in buying Recycle, don't have it, don't want to get it, or just can't get hold of it. Hope that helps you out, and uh, enjoy. <laughs>